Good morning, Edita. My name is Megan. And my name is Lauren. Today is Thursday, October 7th, and it's a white day. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please pause for a moment of silence. Students, make sure you're attending all of your classes on time. If you are not feeling well, have a parent or guardian call the attendance office to excuse you from class. Students who are interested in participating in a winter sport or any activity requiring a physical must show proof of full COVID-19 vaccination. Go online and find the nearest location to receive the COVID vaccine at vaccines.gov today. The Just World Club is collecting non-perishable food for the Afghan re refugees in our community until October 8th. Drop-off boxes are located in the main office, the office in the Social Studies hallway in room 90 near the cafeteria. Are you a member or an ally of the LGBTQ plus community? Then join the GSA, the Gay Straight Alliance. Our first meeting will be held on Friday, October 15th at 3.20 p.m. in room 108. Sign up ahead of time using the QR code on the door of room 108. Seniors who have not taken their senior pictures yet can sign up to do so on October 11th through 12th and December 7th through 10th. Pictures will be taken in the dance room and are after school from 3 to 9 p.m. Seniors can begin booking appointments now at prestigeportraits.com. They can find their name by utilizing the search by city and state feature or using the appointment code they were sent in the mail. If they have any questions, they should contact Life Touch Prestige at 855-918-2930. GMU is hosting their Alconza College Fair October 22nd. There will be more than 150 colleges and universities represented. Please see Ms. Benitez and the Student Services or for a field trip permission slip. Spaces are limited. Come participate in a Sugar Skull craft activity for teens in preparation for the Day of the Dead on Tuesday, October 19th at 4 p.m. at George Mason Public Library. We'll be making and decorating sugar skulls and chatting about the meaning of the Day of the Dead and the altar. There will be an interactive community altar inside the library. This year's Fall for the Book Festival will run from October 14th to the 31st, either live via Crowdcast or pre-recorded for YouTube. The headliners include Britt Bennett, author of The Vanishing Half, and Elizabeth Colbert, the author of The Sixth Extinction, and Under a White Sky, The Nature of the Future. The full schedule of the events this year's festival can be found on the website at fallforthebook.org. The National Art Honor Society is accepting applications. Go to room 148 for application forms, or join our Google Classroom with code M6BOA3G. NAHS will do events like sell cards for holidays, host art shows, and offer art tutoring. Join if you like art, want a court for graduation, and need community service hours. Juniors and seniors may join the Social Studies Honor Society Google Classroom with code SJDI7FJ. Applications for membership to the Social Studies Honor Society are due October 15th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Zare at sjzaret at fcps.edu. Join us on October 9th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the stadium parking lot for homecoming. We are also looking for teacher chaperones for this event. Check out the information in the Insider to Volunteer. Our first Spirit Week is this week. Today is Class Colors Day. Check out our Spirit Week video for the full week. FC FCPS respects students' right to express themselves in the way they dress. It is important, however, that your appearance is tasteful and appropriate for the K-12 school setting. If you are asked to cover or remove clothing and you feel it is not warranted, please reach out to, the, to your administrator to have a private conversation. Ultimately, you should feel safe and valued at Annandale High School. If for any reason you do not feel this way or if you have any questions about the school dress code policy or any school policy, it is always your right to voice your concerns to your administrator. Thank, Thank you, you Adams. Adams. Have, Have a great day. day.